Are you spending more money than what you're making selling on Amazon? If you want to boost sales without draining your budget, today's video is for you. We'll be talking about Amazon ACoS, what it is, why it's important, and how you can calculate it. Let's break it down quickly and easily. ACoS stands for Advertising Cost of Sales. It's important because your ACoS gives you a good view of how profitable your advertising campaigns are. How? Well, it's all in the calculation. You can find out how much your product's ACoS is by taking your total ad spend and dividing it by the total sales your ad was able to generate. Then, turn it to a percentage and then you have your ACoS. Now, you might be asking yourself, how does this give me a good view of my advertising campaigns? Your ACoS measures how much you spend on an ad versus how much you've earned, and it's presented as a percentage. Here's an example. If you spend $10 for a campaign and you only manage to generate $10 back from that campaign, then your ACoS will be 100%, which is bad, like really bad. On the other hand, if you spend $10 for a campaign and get back $100, your ACoS will just be 10%. In short, high ACoS is bad and low ACoS is good. Amazon claims that there isn't an optimal percentage ACoS that you should be aiming for. Rather, it's more dependent on your niche, size of the company, and campaign frequency among other things. But as a rule of thumb, you'll want to keep your ACoS around the 15 to 20% range. If your number is too high, you're most likely spending way too much on a campaign without seeing significant results. If it's too low, you're probably not reaching enough customers. You'll need to find that sweet spot where your ads bring in tons of revenue for a minimum cost. If you already did the computations and found that you have a high ACoS, don't be too hard on yourself because a low ACoS isn't always the goal. It all depends on what you're aiming for with that ad campaign. For example, if you're launching a new product, it makes more sense if you have a higher ACoS because you want more eyes on your product and brand. You need to get the listing to more people and there's a good chance that most of them won't buy because you'll have fewer reviews or none at all. Over time, as you refine your ads, keywords, and understand your audience better, you'll want to bring that number down. To check your ACoS and see if it's at the right percentage, there are two metrics you need to think about. One of them is your profit margin. At the very least, your profit margins should be higher than your computed ACoS. To calculate your profit margins, take the selling price of your item, then subtract it by the total cost at which you sold it. Taking the difference between the two and dividing that value by the total price of your sold item should give you your profit margin. Like what we did with our ACoS, simply multiply the quotient by 100 to give a value in percentage. Here's a quick example. Say you have a product that sells for $80. The total cost to make the product amounts to $25. In this case, your profit margin is calculated as $80 minus $25, then divide the difference by $80. The quotient will then be multiplied by 100, giving us a profit margin of 68.75%. Now keep that number handy because we'll be talking about another important metric, which is your break-even ACoS. This is the value at which your advertising campaigns generate enough revenue to cover the cost of your ad spend which will neither result in a profit nor loss. If your ACoS is higher than your profit margin, it means you're losing money from advertising. On the other hand, an ACoS lower than your profit margin means you're making money. If your ACoS and your profit margin have the same value, your business has reached its break-even ACoS. So what can you do if your ACoS is higher than your profit margin? Focus on high-performing keywords and regularly tune out those that underperform. Using negative keywords can also work to filter out irrelevant traffic. If you're out of keywords to use, try using a tool like Helium 10 to give you a boost. You can try out our affiliate link with them at ecomcrew.com slash helium10 if you'd like to try it out. Don't forget to adjust your bids based on performance data either. Seasonality and trends in your niche fall in this bucket. We've seen a few people's PPC campaigns automatically set to reduce by 10 cents if ACAS hits more than 20% for two weeks or more. But things like these depends on your business and niche. Sometimes, a slight tweak in your ad strategy can make a big difference in your ACoS. 
With all the different metrics Amazon shares to help you succeed in your advertising efforts, your ACoS isn't just a number. It's a reflection of your ad strategy's health. Use it wisely to navigate the competitive seas of selling on Amazon. If you like this content, visit ecomcrew.com to get updated with the latest tips and news in e-commerce. If you have any questions about selling on Amazon or have any suggestions on what video we should do next, leave them in the comments below. Till then, happy selling!